Hi everyone, I am back with another video. In this video, I will be explaining you how to create, create a Canvas app and how that Canvas app can be integrated with SharePoint list. To explain this entire concept, I would be taking an example of creating a quiz or a survey. So as you can see, I have already created uh, one survey list which is having title and in this title field, we will be capturing the uh, submitter's name and then question 1 and question 2. These are uh, the multi-line text columns. So it's a simple list. Now I'll just go to the makepowerapp.com so that I can create one canvas app. So I'll just start with the blank canvas app. The layout would be phone. I'll just name it. Alright, so I can just zoom in so that I can look at that better. Now this screen one, so we can rename the screen. Let's say uh, question one, or you can also create one welcome screen. And uh, based on the next button, you can show up this question one screen. So directly for the sake of demo, I'm just uh, creating directly question one. I'm inserting one uh, label. So I'll just uh, rename that as survey and making it a bit visible old and then I'll just align it and would like to give some background a nice background to it okay all right so now I'll just put another array label so that we can just write our question so let's say question is what uh, day is today okay so in answers I can insert a uh, input and that input can be a radio button so there we go so in the radio button we can simply uh, add up the items in the square bracket so, I'm just, so I'll just add up a few options Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and uh, this week and so I'll just uh, make it fit in between now I'll just drag uh, one button so that I can just go to my next question I'll just rename it as next and uh, okay so now I have my question one ready I'll just add a one blank screen uh, I can rename it to question 2 or quickly I can just delete this one because I need the same sort of uh, layout and questions I'll just duplicate the screen so it gives me question 1 underscore 1 so you can rename all these controls or leave it as is based on your requirement so I'm just renaming the question on the screen too that is uh, let's say what uh, wa when summer starts so let's say I just change options may January uh, August March, October, let's see. Okay. So now I can just uh, change the next to finish because I'm just creating this survey with just two questions for the sake of demo. So now the thing comes. So to integrate these responses in a SharePoint or to store the response in SharePoint we have a couple of ways so one could be you can just have one power automate or a flow embedded uh, to this form and which saves the data to the SharePoint and the other quick way is using a patch function so for, for using patch function we have to insert one data source which is a SharePoint list where we would like to capture all the responses 
So I am choosing this patch function because it's quick. It allows us saving the data in bulk. So rather than going uh, the route of flow, I am using patch. So for using patch, I'll just go to the action so that I can sorry to the view so that I can see the data sources. I can search for the data source as SharePoint. Clicking on it my site is already there so i am just selecting the existing one otherwise you can click on add a connection my sharepoint site is spfx one i am just selecting my survey list which is already there okay so now i can go to my finish button and i can on select i can type patch function so patch function takes three arguments one is source source is my survey and the other one is defaults so I need to specify my survey list as default as well and the third one is the data so in data I need to specify the values for all the columns in the survey list so for specifying value as I said in the title feed we would be capturing the username so I'll just type user function and then full name of it or you can select the email ID as well for the question one field I'll be capturing the data or the response from this question one and from the radio button one so I'm just typing radio one selected radio one selected text dot value and then I need to capture the question two response and which was there in radio one underscore one selected text and dot value so this is how we can use the patch function and now after that I have to navigate to another screen and that screen should be thank you screen I'll just uh, navigate back to my pane and we'll just add one screen, blank screen. So, in this blank screen, I can add up some label saying thank you. Make it a bit uh, visible. Align it and giving it a background okay let's leave it and then having adding icons so that it can look up pretty intuitive i'll just add one not this one yeah i, I would like to add one circle let's add okay circle and in this circle I just would like to just make it a big and add up one icon check okay so that represents that we are done I'll just uh, change the color of this right icon to okay how it looks better so on question one I'll just navigate to finish and then add up after this patch function navigate function to navigate to screen one you can rename that screen as well so close that so i'll just save my app okay all right so you can share this app directly by the share button uh, if you would like to add up more people otherwise you can just close and directly play this one so what day is today? It's Monday. So I am on my screen too. When summer starts, so me. And once I click finish, it should save the data and as well as give me this thank you screen. So I now I will go to my survey list. We'll check whether the data is there or not. Okay, I got the data. Submitter is Krishna Sharma. Monday, May. So this is a quick this was a quick demo of how to integrate the SharePoint other than Power Automate using patch function and how you quickly you can create the quiz 
and as well as there are many options to make it very intuitive so that you can have this app uh, published to in your organization and can be used widely so i believe this could be helpful for you thank you